Find me, woman. Calm down. You're getting too excited. Well, it's five guys. What's up, Beard Army? Welcome back to another episode of the Backseat Blowout. No, we're not changing the name because it's starting to stick now. This is episode number four, I think. And uh, today we are doing the entire Five Guys secret menu, which is something that tons of people have asked me to do lately over the past like two, three months. Um, if you can hear some weird sounds, I apologize. It's the air con in the car because it's so hot today. We can't do this. If we do it without the air condition, if we do it without the air conditioning, then we're pretty much both gonna melt. Like this, this was, this is melted. Yeah, that did have whipped cream on top, I promise, yeah. but it's melted now. Um, so I'm gonna go through the items as we eat them. Hopefully you're gonna enjoy this episode. So without further ado, this is Beard Mixed Food and Mrs. Beard, and this is the entire Five Guys secret menu. Smackdown! <laughs> All right, so this is the Chicago style Hot dog, this isn't particularly special. You ask for it Chicago style and you get like green peppers in there. Yeah, you know, just drip some juice on Lindsay. Not for the first time. So yeah, with this, it's nothing particularly special. You get like green peppers in there and um, some mustard, tomato ketchup, and I think there's one more, th oh, tomatoes as well. All right, let's take the first bite. Oh, oh my oh, God. This one is gonna be so messy. I'll take the no answer as a yes. It's decent, it's a little spicy for me. All right. All right, so Chicago style hot dog was pretty good. It's not really that secret. You customize it, but they tend to know what a Chicago style hot dog is. I've actually got tomato sauce on my bicep, what's left of my bicep. Getting kind of skinny these days. All right, next we've got the burger in a bun. No. No. The burger in a box. But you don't actually get the bun. It's kind of a point, but if you hand me my, uh, a knife. Yeah, a fork will do. Thanks, darling. All right, so this pretty much just does what it says on the tin. The fork isn't really working though. It's a burger oh in a box. So if for some reason you're following like a ketogenic diet, why would you though? But if you are, then this kind of works for you. A big part of the appeal of Five Guys is that kind of greasy bun you get. So a little bit of the charm is lost. A bit like when you've been in a long-term relationship for six years. A little bit of the charm is lost. But it's still special. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something witty to say, but you might have to give me a few days. <laughs> <laughs> slow! They call you slow! How dare you call me that? Small, smaller ones at first are still impressive, but after a bit, what a big one. <laughs> Do you know how many times it took, how many <laughs> takes that took for it to actually get that out, you still get it wrong? I don't think it's really special, it's just that like, if for whatever reason you want to cut back on carbs. Which I don't think you should ever do, but. I certainly don't. <laughs> if you cut back on carbs, Correct. you'd be eating like, fresh air. <laughs> Fresh air and Coca-Cola. Right, so that's done to all intents and purposes. A little bit of debris in there, so I better finish that off in case. What about Adam's like with debris? Lindsay gives me some green He's the bumper. best. <laughs> all right, so we kind of messed up a little bit because the extra crispy fries or the well done fries, whatever you want to call them, obviously they get lost in the bag. I think you've got half the crispy ones. I got half the crispy ones. Now, the only difference there with the Weldon fries is they're crispy, you know, they don't taste any different. All right, so this is not a secret menu item, but we thought we could kind of make one because Lindsay's a big fan 
of a uh, fries in a sandwich, or as she would call it, chip butty. A chip butty, right? So, Lynn's got. I don't know why you got a hot dog bun instead of a burger I bun. I don't like the seeds. So she's just gonna put some fries. So this is the way forward. All right. So next we got. This is a secret menu item for sure. This is the patty melt. If you want to see an even secret menu item, this is the hot dog chip buddy. Super squashed. <laughs> All right, so this is the patty melt, which pretty much does what it says in the tin. It's a burger or two burgers if you're greedy like me, sandwiched in between one single grilled cheese sandwich. I love the grilled cheese sandwiches. From, uh, from Five Guys. This is just that with a burger in the middle. This is um, just a hot dog roll with um, some of the delicious um, chips, not Cajun, just normal in the middle. Um, yeah, secret, secret. Nobody else ever eaten this before. Well, I don't doubt you there. Who would order that? The bread's a bit sweet. Have a bite. Please. Don't like that, no? It's too sugary. It tastes too sweet. Well, if it's sugary, I'm sure it's not, but if it's sugary, you might as well give it, give it to me. That name is trademarked by a good friend of mine. The garbage disposal. I can't use that. I get what you mean now, actually, it is really sweet. Yeah. That's actually quite nice. The bread has kind of a sweet. The it's bread like has kind really of a sweet. bread has kind of a sweet aftertaste to it. This, I'm a little bit underwhelmed by this. It got better towards the end, but because it's a grilled cheese sandwich around the burger patties. I don't know, it's just too stiff. We've never had that problem. <laughs> I was, you know what? I was just waiting for you to say that. I almost stopped in anticipation of you saying that. So this is the, uh, the double grilled cheese cheeseburger, which is pretty much the same as the thing I just ate, the patty melt, but you get two full grilled cheese sandwiches on the either side of a burger pie, right? Mmm, so. tasty! This does seem like overkill. It's like you couldn't get this with fillings because the fillings would be everywhere. I think because the burger is separated by a layer of bread it's just more pleasant tasting. I mean, it, it looks great. I get a feeling that's sarcasm. Mm, crispy chip. This would be really nice with like some maple syrup on it. Not some ketchup? No. Mayonnaise? No. Maple syrup? Yes. No. <laughs> So, um, how many Instagram followers have you got now? Uh, over a thousand. Liz is getting really excited because she got like, would you get like 200 followers in one day yeah, after sure, my last yeah. video? I have 1,040. 1,040? And what's your, you might as well use this opportunity to plug. What's your, what's your handle? Um, I don't know. Wait a minute. Wait, wait! It's alright, we're not going anywhere, darling. How do I find out? At Missish. This is my time. Okay. At Mrs. underscore beard underscore eats. The irony is that you don't really eat, do you? You don't really eat, do you? I mean, you eat, but you don't eat much, so. I did try. I That's tried. also one of those really annoyingly overused. Like, Lindsay eats, Lindsay lifts. I hate those usernames. Although it was my idea, I think that one. You told me to. Yeah. <laughs> um. On Lindsay's Instagram, she sometimes posts little stories of her trying things. 
Um, because obviously, if you've watched the channel before, you know she's got a really limited diet, by which I mean bread, potatoes, uh, hula hoops, <laughs> Haribo, just pretty simple carbohydrates, right? But she posts these videos where she, sometimes where she tries stuff, and she tried a Five Guys Burger last week. And you know what? I was so mad at her because she sent me a picture that she'd left three quarters of this perfectly I had good three five bites. Guys. Three bites. Exactly, and you left it there. That's the I could have killed you. I, could, I was I was thinking about smothering you in your sleep at night. Right, anyway. So this one. This isn't really that special. It's trying to be. It's trying to replicate In N Out Burger, the taste of that, with Five Guys. Why would you do that? Five Guys is better, even though I've never tried In N Out. But this is the animal style. It basically means it's got mustard tomato ketchup and mayonnaise kind of mixed in together and then it's on the burger right so all right we've got this size um green peppers in as well i think that's something to do with replicating the taste what's the in and out burger then in and out it's kind of like five guys but they only have it on the west coast so i've never been there so it actually makes me laugh how many people comment on my videos say, oh, please do like In and Out, please do Jolly Bee, please do um, Chick fil A, and it's like they don't exist in England. We have KFC, Burger King. <coughs> oh, McDonald's. That last part was really hot. Pizza Hut, Domino's. Wimpy. Wimpy. That's one that I should try. I think there's like two left in I think England. There's three. Maybe like. In England, that I found. Wait, why have you been on like some kind of wimpy <laughs> <coughs> historical trail trying I to track get, down? I get, um, okay. Is that guy a cyborg? This has, this car has tinted windows, and he was looking straight at me. I think it's because the car is running, but nobody's sat in it. From what he can see. Ah, how funny would it have been if he tried to steal it? If he just got in. Like, excuse me. We're doing some backseat blowout here. Can you leave us alone? <laughs> He definitely <laughs> would leave us alone if he said that. Right, what's next? We don't really have much left. This is the one that Barack Obama eats. I think I might have messed up though because I got bacon in it and he doesn't usually get bacon. But he has jalapenos, lettuce, tomato and green peppers and mustard. Is that why they call it a presidential burger? Because he said he, he was a president. No, I think it's totally coincidence. Yeah, that's why they call it that. You have limited amounts of common sense. Like when you play an RPG and you have like hit points and magic and, you know, and the magic goes down as you use it. That's like you with common sense and it's replenished every night when you go to bed. It's not, it's not about speed, is it? It's about capacity. You have neither, but you can have a good shot. <laughs> I'm not even slow, man. I ate that burger at Highway 55 like half a minute faster than Furious Pete, and people love him. Yeah. Uh, what place did you come? I came to Sheven's, but there was anyway, like a lot of good eaters there. So next, next. I beat one. Wayne Arheny, yeah. who was like a world record holder. Jalpeno. I swear to God, if I didn't love this burger so much, I would just smash it in your face. Oh dear. Mmm. Mmm. I would have thought that Obama would have had better taste than that. That wasn't particularly good. Maybe you should give him some tips on what to try. Well, it's funny you should mention that, darling, because this last item we got here is not actually technically on the Five Guys secret menu, but I think I should probably add it because this is something that I created myself. I want to say thanks to the guys, uh, uh, Five Guys in Kirkstall, um, for letting me put this together because this is a double bacon cheeseburger with peanut butter on top. Normally you can only put peanut butter in the milkshakes, but they let me put it on a burger, so I'm gonna try it now. I bet it's gonna be delicious. It's pretty good. Okay. I wonder if I can show the... So you can kind of see the peanut butter on top there. There was a little bit more, but I think it was loaded to one side, so I took most of it in the first mouthful, but it is good. I think next time I might ask them for peanut butter and cherry, 
because they don't have jam, but that would be kind of like peanut butter and jam. I can't wait to find out what our wedding buffet would look like. I just eat like one entire wedding cake. Good. Let's start hashtagging the beard burger at Five Guys UK. Get them to add this to their secret menu. Brief all this stuff. Apparently, some people have gone in and asked for the beard shake, which is just something I made up, which is Oreos, peanut butter, and bacon. And apparently, some staff at Five Guys no, know, and they put the put. I mean, it probably won't work, but a few people, like three or four people, told me it did work. So. I don't know why you would want bacon in a shake. It just gives it like a really cool salty aftertaste. <laughs> what? That wasn't even an innuendo. Mmm. Salty. Why do you keep saying that? Do you know how many hours Lindsay actually slept yesterday? Out of a 24 hour day, she slept for 15 hours out of a 24 hour day. So you were awake for 9 hours of a day. Admittedly, it's a Saturday, but I've never known anyone sleep as much as you. I was tired. Uh, didn't you have a nap this uh, morning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whilst I was at work, he went to the gym and came back and had a three hour nap throughout the day. So it's not just me. Yeah, but that was like a one off. You do it yeah, like all the time. Anyway, shut up. Um, we're done with all the burgers now. I do have some fries and, of course, the beard shake, right? That's not really what it's called. It's not an official name. Uh, this is a peanut butter, Oreo, and bacon milkshake with whip. It did have whipped cream on top. I promise, but it's so hot today that it melted. Oh. That's good. I'll bleep it out. It's worth it, and you can hold the fries. I think I ate most of them. One. <laughs> I did actually say that I was going to get a special guest on the next episode of this series, but there was just straight outrage in the YouTube comments like, No! What about Lindsay? That and uh, I haven't actually found any anybody worthy enough to replace me. I was going to say anyone famous enough. All, all willing to get in the back of a car with me. And me sat in the front. He'd left one chip. Like a smiley face. Eat me! I'm so sad! Eat me! <laughs> sad it can't even come out. Now it's hit the roof. <laughs> I got it. It did look like a sad face then. My favourite item, I think, was probably the uh, double grilled cheese, double cheese burger. <sighs> Not the patty melt, the, the double burger with two grilled cheese what sandwiches on it. Peanut butter, maybe. Ooh, actually, wait, no, the peanut butter burger was good yeah. too. Those two were the best. What about the grilled <coughs> patty one? Next time, grilled patty one with peanut butter. With butter peanut butter. Around. Let's give that a try next time. My anyway. favourite was um, the chips on their own because the chip butter was a little bit too sugary. What an enlightening review. I'm sure that anyway. Will out. I'm sure that will help out a lot of people. Shh. Beard out! No. C catch us next time here. Beard out. Oh man, look at all this mess. Yeah, man. You tag. I don't know if you can see that, 89 pounds, 25 pence.